Hello, welcome back to Lily's Viking Adventure. Today I have an article about the Magi's of old. Sorry for the long absence. I had some tooth pain and an extraction done, so my speech was not clear for reading. I hope you enjoy. Let's dive right in. And as always, like, share, and comment to help support my channel if it's in your heart to do so. The Magi, Maze, and Keys of Enlightenment. The term Magi refers to members of a priestly caste in ancient Persia, known for their ability to perform magic, interpret dreams, and foretell the future. Historically, the Magi were associated with Zoroastrianism, a religion that dates back to the 6th century BCE and centers on the teachings of the prophet Zoroaster or Zarathustra. In Zoroastrianism, the Magi were responsible for religious rituals, the maintenance of fire temples, and the performance of various sacrificial ceremonies. They played a crucial role in the religious and social structures of ancient Persian society. The term Magi is perhaps most famously connected to the Christian tradition, specifically in the story of the Nativity of Jesus. In the Gospel of Matthew in the New Testament, the Magi are described as the wise men from the East who followed a star to Bethlehem to honor the birth of Jesus with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These figures are often referred to as the three wise men or the three kings. The depiction of the Magi in Christian tradition has evolved over time, blending biblical accounts with historical and mythical elements. They are celebrated in many Christian cultures, especially on the Feast of Epiphany, which commemorates their visit to the baby Jesus. In esoteric traditions and symbolism, the term magi extends beyond its historical and religious origins to encompass deeper metaphysical meanings. These traditions often highlight the Magi as embodiments of wisdom, spiritual insight, and the pursuit of mystical knowledge. They are often portrayed as seekers of hidden or arcane knowledge. They represent the quest for understanding the deeper mysteries of the universe, transcending ordinary reality to explore spiritual truths. The Magi's journey following a star is symbolically rich in astrology, emphasizing their connection to the cosmos and their understanding of celestial influences. This aspect makes them akin to alchemists who transform the mundane into something sacred, much like the journey of personal spiritual transformation. In Jungian psychology, the other mystical traditions, the Magi can be seen as archetypes of the old wise man, representing wisdom, guidance, and the mentor figure in the psycho-spiritual development of an individual. They are often evoked as symbols of guidance and the bearers of profound insight. The Magi in esoteric traditions are sometimes considered initiates into sacred mysteries possessing knowledge of divine laws and spiritual principles. Their practice may include rituals, meditations, and other esoteric exercises that aim at spiritual enlightenment or communion with the divine. The Magi, coming from the East to honor a sacred event in the Judeo-Christian tradition, symbolize the synthesis of different spiritual paths and the universal search for divine knowledge. They embody the unity of various religious and spiritual traditions through the common pursuit of truth. In certain theosophical and hermetic circles, the Magi are viewed as practitioners of theurgy, the practice of rituals performed to invoke the presence of divine energies. As such, they represent the human ability to interact with the influence of the divine realm. 
in the context of spiritual alchemy, the gifts of the Magi, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, can be interpreted symbolically as elements of spiritual transformation. The gold represents perfection of the spirit, frankincense, the ascension of prayers and spiritual awareness, and myrrh, the mortality and suffering that are integral to the human experience. The maze. Navigating a maze is a journey of discovery, not just the path that leads to the exit, but also the self. Similarly, the pursuit of arcane wisdom involves a profound inner journey where the seeker must explore unknown territories of the mind and spirit, confront personal shadows, and overcome doubts and fears. A maze requires trial and error to solve, symbolizing the iterative process of learning and spiritual growth. Each wrong turn in a maze provides valuable lessons, just as each misstep in the pursuit of arcane wisdom offers insights and learning that refine the seeker's understanding and approach. The process of navigating through a maze transforms the seeker, a concept mirrored in the esoteric pursuit where the acquisition of hidden knowledge changes one's perception of reality and self. The center of the maze often symbolizes the achievement of a new level of consciousness or the discovery of a vital truth. Mazes are often experienced in solitude, highlighting the solitary nature of many spiritual quests. The isolation of the maze reflects the often lonely path of those who seek arcane wisdom, where personal re revelations and spiritual experiences are deeply personal and internal. In many cultural and spiritual traditions, mazes are used as initiation rites. The successful navigation of a maze signifies the completion of a test and the attainment of a new level of wisdom or maturity. This is akin to the initiation rites in esoteric practices where gaining arcane knowledge is viewed as a rite of passage. Mazes also represent the complexity of life and the interconnectedness of all things. The winding paths may seem separate, but they are part of a larger design, which much like the seemingly separate pieces of esoteric knowledge that, when understood collectively, reveal a greater truth about the universe. The goal of reaching the center of the maze and then finding one's way back out can symbolize the esoteric goal of reaching enlightenment, or a core truth, and then returning to the world to share that wisdom. This echoes the archetypal journey of the hero, or the mystic who returns from the quest with knowledge that benefits the larger community. It serves as a profound symbol in the search for arcane wisdom, representing both the journey and the internal and external challenges faced by those who seek to penetrate the depths of spiritual and mystical realms. It illustrates the intricate and often convoluted path to enlightenment emphasizing the transformative and revelatory nature of this quest. The keys. In esoteric traditions, keys are primarily symbols of unlocking or gaining access to something that is hidden or forbidden. For the Magi, as seekers of arcane wisdom, keys represent the ability to unlock the mysteries of the universe divine truths, or secret knowledge. This symbolism directly correlates with the role of an initiate navigating a spiritual maze, where each turn or discovery might yield a new key in the form of insight, understanding, or enlightenment. Keys also symbolize authority and the right to access restricted spaces. In the context of the Magi and spiritual initiates, possessing a key can symbolize having the authority or readiness to handle sacred knowledge and responsibilities that come with advanced spiritual states. 
This is akin to an initiate in a maze, reaching a point where they can responsibly wield the wisdom they have acquired. Just as a key allows passage through a locked door, in a spiritual or esoteric sense, it can represent the transition from one state of being to another, or from ignorance to knowledge. For an initiate, navigating the maze, a key can symbolize the achievement of a new level of wisdom, or the completion of a stage of their initiation. In some traditions, keys represent not only the power to lock and unlock physical locations, but also unlock sacred realms metaphysically. This can include the ability to bind or lose <clears throat> spiritual energies, influences, or even destinies. For the Magi, such a key would symbolize control over spiritual forces. For an initiate, it could represent mastering the energies within the maze of spiritual growth. Keys ensure that not that only those who are meant to enter can do so. In the journey of the Magi and the initiate, keys symbolize the safeguarding of sacred knowledge from those not ready to receive it. The maze itself acts as a protective structure, ensuring that only those who have successfully na navigated its complexities can access the central truths. The use of a key to open a door or a gate is a powerful metaphor for accessing a new reality, dimension, or a higher level of consciousness. In the spiritual journey through a maze, reaching and unlocking the final gate with the key can symbolize arriving at the core of one's spiritual essence or the ultimate truth of the universe. On a personal level, keys can represent personal qualities or virtues necessary to progress on a spiritual path, such as wisdom, integrity, and courage. These are keys in the sense that they unlock deeper personal and spiritual development, essential for navigating the complex pathways of the maze. Thus keys in the esoteric symbolism are multifaceted, representing knowledge, authority, transition, and protection. They encapsulate the challenges and rewards of the Magi and spiritual initiates as they journey through the intricate mazes of their spiritual quests each turn and door unlocked, bringing them closer to the ultimate truth, truths of existence. That was written by Debbie Edwards. I appreciate you joining me for another video. Please like, share, sub, comment, all of the above. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night.